Thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this and you'll hear more about their latest deals at the end of this video. Welcome everyone to our smart assistant comparison with the latest phones available right now and on one hand we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra which we'll be testing with the Google Assistant and then on the other hand we have Apple's latest iPhone 12 Pro Max with Apple's Siri. So let's see which of these two assistants is smarter, has Siri learned some new tricks, is it better compared to the Google Assistant, it used to be pretty bad in the past, we have Google's Assistant versus Apple Siri and we'll kick this off with just a few basic questions about setting alarms and reminders and that's just to see if the phones will be able to recognize my voice and how quickly they respond to different commands. Set an alarm for one hour. Boom, both did well. Set an alarm for two hours. Okay. Set a one hour timer. Apple series starting to load up and think a little bit. That's happening quite often in my usage. Not so much with the Google Assistant. And you can still see it's working on that. It seems to be a bit of a bug, doesn't always happen, but sometimes when it does, it's kind of annoying and you have to retry it. Set a one hour timer. Okay, here we go. Very fast when it gets the request right. Scan a QR code. Boom, instantly, that's how it should work. Okay, next up we continue with the weather. Some standard questions. Should I bring an umbrella tomorrow? Apple Siri was first here. And for some reason, the Google Assistant opens Spotify. Should I bring an umbrella tomorrow? And now it gets it right. No, it won't rain tomorrow in Varna. So it does give you a bit more information and context, but it takes up the whole stream. So it's a different approach. Okay, next up, let's try some general facts. For example, what is the population of Germany? Boom, Apple Siri was very fast here. And Google's assistant was a bit slower, but notice that it gives you this nice graph, shows you how the population obviously evolved throughout the years. What's the tallest building in the United States? Okay, Apple Siri again gives you a quick answer, but you get a much more detailed breakdown of the Google Assistant. Who's the Prime Minister of the UK? Boris Johnson, correct answer. Does he have any children? And the Google Assistant is again taking its time but it gives you a more detailed answer with images while Apple Siri just gives you a list of the names but nothing else and I definitely prefer the answer that Google's assistant gives here. So let's try something with actors and movies and for example let's try this. What was the last movie with Tom Hanks? You don't get a direct answer, but you do get actually a trailer of a movie with Tom Hanks on the Google Assistant, which is much more useful. What's the next movie Tom Hanks will be starring in? Again, the Apple Siri is faster, that seems to be a theme, but uh, Google's Assistant gives you a more detailed answer again. Okay, let's try and see if they have a sense of humor. Tell me a joke. Why is it pointless trying to talk to a cow? Everything goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> okay, that's a funny one. That's a, a dead joke, but okay, I laughed. So it got me here. Let's see the Google Assistant. Why won't the shrimp share its treasure? Because it's shellfish. I have to work on my delivery. Both of these are, yeah, they're okay. But uh, you, you, you can get some jokes out of them if you want that. Okay, let's continue with something more practical, something more useful. For example, with directions. So let's ask them for directions. Directions to Bucharest, Romania. I'm based in Europe right now. And both did well, both recognized my request, but the Google Assistant gives you a couple Starting of different routes. To Bucharest. Apple's Maps already starts directing me there, so maybe that's what you Heading want. Ne not right now necessarily for me, but anyway. And let's also try something with the distance. What's the distance to Athens, Greece? 
and again you get a map on both phones which is nice and you get the exact distance on both phones so i would call it a draw in this in this round next up let's try the assistance with music for example we have a same spotify account linked and ready to go it's a premium account let's see how the phones are able to interact with it with a simple request something like play 50 cent hmm interesting so the google assistant was able to start spotify and start playing a song while apple siri tried to look on apple music which is not exactly what you want so maybe we had to try something more specific which i don't want to be that specific in my requests but let's try it play an r b music playlist on spotify okay the iphone was first but both phones recognized the request both did well and fired up the proper playlist for this case so next up an interesting test let's try to play a song without knowing the name of the song just by the lyrics play the song that goes i got broads in atlanta so it's shuffling music from my library which is not exactly what i want here let's try the google assistant play the song that goes i got broads in atlanta and that's right okay nice job google assistant it gets the lyrics right it gives you directly the song that you want this is very impressive i like this feature a lot so definitely a big win for for the google assistant in this round and once again nice job this is really impressive okay let's try something else with our channel for example play the last phone arena video on youtube Let's get the ad. Boom, that's right. Wow, very impressive. So, for example, both phones were able to recognize my request. Both phones were able to understand it. And obviously, Apple Siri gives you a list of our latest, nine latest videos, which is relevant and nice to have. But my specific request was for it to play the latest video right away. And that's exactly what the Google Assistant does. So, next up, imagine you're in a foreign country, you want to translate something. Let's see if both phones can do that. How do you say good night in Chinese? okay interesting here the apple siri answer is actually more useful because you have that uh, transcription here one and this is uh, probably uh, something that i can pronounce even though probably not right at all but here you don't get this pronunciation on the google assistant which is a bit of a disappointment so i'll give a preference to apple siri in this case okay next up let's try converting money with a common currency how much is 1000 yen into usd Boom, Apple Siri, very fast. Japanese yen, correct answer on both phones, but Apple Siri was faster. Let's try this with a more obscure currency. For example, how much is 1,000 Ukrainian money into USD? Boom, both phones did a good job. Nice. So basically we can see that in both cases, the Google Assistant and Apple Siri do a good job and you get a more detailed breakdown on the Google Assistant, but I would call this one a draw. So next up, let's try something else, which is stocks. What's the value of Tesla? And you get the value of the Tesla stock, which is correct. What's Tesla's market capitalization? And Apple Siri didn't recognize this request. And you see the market cap actually here in bold, which is very nice. But let's try it once again on the Apple Siri. What's the market cap of Tesla? 464 billion, correct answer. So both are doing well in this task. Nice job. What's the price of Tesla's Cybertruck? Obviously the Google Assistant didn't recognize my request properly. Let's try this once again. What's the price on Tesla's Cybertruck? Mm, so you get a very interesting price breakdown. You get the official Tesla website here on Apple Siri and a few other answers. You get the same result here on the Google Assistant. So good job on both. Let's try this once again with something a bit different. What's the length of Tesla's Cybertruck? 
boom that is very impressive you can see the google assistant here gives you the exact answer 19 feet 4 inches while here on apple siri you just don't get a relevant answer at all let's try with a slightly more obscure model what's the length of a 2005 honda crv you can get a bunch of links on apple siri you get an exact answer on the google assistant with an image and everything how do i change the oil on a 2005 honda civic Now that might be oddly specific, but these are the kind of questions that people will ask in real life. So you can see that Apple Siri is just not able to give you a very decent answer here. You get a YouTube link that you can click, but it's kind of just a bunch of text and you don't see it visually. You don't know where you're going with this link. While here on the Google Assistant, you see the exact portion of the video that tells you about the exact oil change on your exact model which is again very impressive. So let's try uh, asking a few more questions about movies and stuff like that. So let's go with this one. When's the new James Bond movie coming out? Now again, boom, you see the Google Assistant gives you that exact release date, November 25th. Let's try this once again with a different movie. When is the new Avatar movie coming out? Are you looking forward to that one? <laughs> Avatar 2 release date to get it on, on Apple Siri. But again, you see the in bold here, the exact result. Play me a trailer for The Mandalorian. Okay, I'm just asking for a specific trailer and it opens YouTube. It finds the trailer and it starts playing it for you while Apple Siri just gives you a bunch of links. Now, this is very nice, very impressive once again for the Google Assistant. What does a Calibri look like? Basically, you can see that for some reason, Apple Siri gives you the name of a Russian experimental pop rock group, which is the kind of an absurd answer that you sometimes get from Apple Siri, which is just bonkers to me. And here you can see the pictures of a, of a Calibri, the bird that I was asking for in the uh, precise, correct context. What does a honey badger look like? Boom, Apple Siri was first with a very interesting answer, but Google's assistant gives you, yeah, that's the honey badger we know from YouTube. Well, Apple Siri just for some reason decided it would tell me about the Hamilton Honey Badgers, which obviously is a Canadian professional basketball team. And that's just the kind of funny, absurd answers you somehow sometimes get from Apple Siri. Who won the 2020 NBA championship? Okay. So interesting, the Apple series shows you the last game and obviously you can, from this game, you can see the, the score and you can see that the Lakers won, but I want the answer. So it's not immediately clear from Apple Siri result while on Google's assistant, you can see the winner. Okay, let's try something else, a follow-up question. What's the roster for the 2020 NBA LA Lakers team? Now here you go on Google Assistant, you get a full roster of the team with all the players and here you just get a bunch of links. Let's try something a bit more challenging. Best scoring players in the NBA. Very different results once again. Now you're getting a useful result on both of these phones. but. Notice I asked for the best scoring players in the NBA, which would assume I want the all-time best scoring players, while Apple Siri gives me the best scoring players, obviously for this year, that's what it seems like. While the Google Assistant correctly reads the context and gives me the all-time scoring players list. Let's try something else, something very challenging. I doubt that any of these phones will be able to answer that. What was the roster on the bad boy Detroit Pistons? So I'm asking about the team that won a championship back in the day and that is Google Assistant gets the correct answer. That's really impressive. Well, the Apple Siri Assistant just gives you the current time roster for the Detroit Pistons, which is of course not what I asked for. Okay, let's try to draw some conclusions and tell you which one is better. Now, obviously, obviously the Google Assistant has the more information, has the more in-depth stats everything that you see is well illustrated with images with 
proper links with videos with whatever is relevant for your question while apple series just tends to give you just a few basic bits of information a few links not always relevant not always great so it still looks a bit dumb compared to google's assistant but sometimes for very simple requests it does a good job and it does it a bit faster for example setting reminders saving notes uh, setting an alarm clock sometimes that's a bit faster on the iphone with uh, apple siri but for example the google assistant did similarly well i would say that it understands the context you can ask it follow-up questions so it definitely seems like the superior assistant so if that's what you want then get an android phone something like this here galaxy note 20 ultra well if you don't use your assistant all that much well apple's iphone 12 pro max still offers some sort of an assistant that will also be helpful but just not quite as helpful as the google assistant who we have to admit wins this hands down and that's it for our comparison between the google assistant and apple siri on the latest phones available right now and now that we're done with the video let me tell you about some of the latest deals by samsung now you can get this holiday season the Samsung Galaxy S20 series for up to 80% off. That's a killer deal and you should act as soon as that deal is available because the S20 series are super powerful. They are the flagships for the first half of 2020 by Samsung. So you can get the three devices in the S20 series at a great discount. But that's not the only deal. You also have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra in their 5G versions discounted at up to 75%. So if you want the latest and greatest, that's another great deal. And last but not least, you can also get the Galaxy Z Fold 2, which is this futuristic folding phone at a discount of up to 50%. That's a huge discount of one of the most premium products you can get this season. So if you wanna get these deals, make sure to check out the description to this video where I will leave the link so you can check them out. So thanks for watching and don't forget about those deals.